So one of the more recent features has been Todoist's AI Assistant. Today I wanted to show you a few of the ways that you could use this to really take advantage of and improving the way you take down tasks. So I'm here in um, Todoist and one of the things you need to note from first thing is you actually need the pro experience. This is something that you will only be able to access this in pro. I don't know whether they'll charge like a pricing or a credit system around this, but at the moment it's so early days. But let's say I've got to film these videos. I've just done the Obsidian Canvas one for Keep Productive and I'm filming the Summarize to Doist AI one here on Francesco D'Alessio, the channel. <laughs> so you can check uh, us out if you're not subscribed yet. But you can see here I've got a subtask called Summarize to Doist AI functionality. Now, once you have this installed, it's like a plugin. So if I go to top right corner, settings, and I go over to, I think it is integrations, there we go. Um, you have to make sure you've installed this one. This is like an AI assistant. So you make sure that you set up settings. Basically it's using that more recent GPT-3 engine. And obviously it does a few things. The, there's sort of like three main ways that you can do it is like, breaking down tasks, probably better to just to show you. Let's go back to what we had here, summarize Todoist AI. If I go to top right hand corner, I've got the assistant here and it says, give tips for completing this task. So what it's gonna do is, is I guess it's just gonna summarize, give me some suggestions. And what it does is it brings up this. The next step will be to research and review Todoist AI functionality, etc., And I can add that as a comment. So that's quite helpful because you can basically get some um, guess, I guess some light research around it. This might be useful if you're working with other people that are say relatively new to the company and you've assigned them a task and you want the AI to summarize it a little bit and you're trying to give them that pre-context to it, which could be helpful. Next, I think this one, these next two are probably more practical in terms of sort of actionable stuff, but here it's gonna make this task more actionable. And I really like how it's done this because I've, give this one very summarized to this, but this is actually what the task is. Create an overview of the Todoist functionality. So I'm gonna get it to change the name for me there. And that's really nice. That's a much more improved uh, one for here. If I do the same with the tasks, what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a few suggestions of some tasks. So here we go. I'm gonna go add these as subtasks and you can see them populate. Now. I can now go through and be like, okay, research it, that's a key one, outline the main features and capabilities, create a summary, et cetera, et cetera. So the, the AI engine here is basically breaking down the task to be more stepped based. So um, here's one that I might want to add a bit more information to, update eBay account information. So let's say I wanna go ahead and break this task down. Now I've added account information this might bring in guides or steps or processes to make it a bit more actionable. So you can see here, let's see what it suggested. Access eBay account, yes. Gather current information, yep. Make updates to account, confirm. So you can start to see how it can be useful. I, I would say it's very generic, but I guess when you're more specific and over time, potentially learning from previous tasks you created, this could become pretty useful. So the AI assistant, you need to download it. It's pretty interesting in how it can be used. That's a small glimpse of what it can do. Um, maybe I'm gonna do another one, for example, sake, let's say um, clean. Actually, maybe let's think of something that's very specific to the house, like um, uh, re-seal bathroom uh, wall so water doesn't come through. Okay, so I've, I've titled it awfully. Let's give this one a more actionable title. Apply a waterproof sealant to the water, bathroom wall to prevent water from leaking through it. It's definitely more actionable. I don't like how long it is, but let's see if it improves the task breakdown. Because I actually would need a recommended waterproof sealant. <laughs> the cheese which had. Here we go. Okay, this is pretty interesting. So it's saying, Prepare the water surface to remove any loose paint, prepare the primer. So it's giving me steps here that I might not know because I'm much better with computers than I am necessarily with waterproof sealant. So this is quite an interesting step by step process. 
So you can start to see this might potentially be useful. It's actually something I need to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually potentially useful in terms of its setup. So I'm really interested in how Todoist are doing this. I actually wrote a piece on Medium if you're interested in checking it out. It's more like outlining how I think Todoist could take and leapfrog other companies. Because think about Notion um, as an application. What you're adding in there could be anything to some extent because the information itself is very sporadic. It's pretty much everywhere, and there's no tie down to the information unless you give it, like, in databases, a hideous amount of context, like um, the process of it, um, what the actual object is. Is it a task? Is it a project? Is it a note? Is it a, a poem? But with Todoist, you only understanding that there are tasks in here, so it's got a lot less... Uh, I guess, feeling and understanding to get to and understand what the object is. But in here, they're all tasks. So they have maybe an advantage, uh, a niche advantage, of having an opportunity to maybe allow AI to understand what these things are. And that could be really, really uh, potentially beneficial. Um, I see something that could be used for Todoist, for example, is if I were to connect it up with other experiences, if I put like add task, okay, I'm gonna add a task like um, research five of the best ways to, uh, or five of the best things I should send Becca for a present maybe. This is really bad that I'm thinking about this. <laughs> but then what it would do is it not only research that stuff, but potentially present some decisions for you to make around, should I go ahead and do that and order it using maybe some of your account details that you provided earlier something like that. But you can start to see that there will almost be steps taken out of your day and any administration or low level tasks you've added may potentially be actionable. Not actionable like you go and have to do it, actionable as in you're making a decision on the completion of it, which is a whole different story in my opinion. So very interesting how this uh, AI system is working and how the potential future uh, could look with Todoist. Thank you very much, folks. If you enjoyed these videos, please do make sure to subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in a future video here on my channel. Cheerio, folks.